Generally speaking, we're not big fans of soaps rewriting their own history, especially when it's so recent that we all remember exactly what went down. But what Bold and Beautiful just did with regards to Luna and Zen's problematic hookup from earlier this year is well, borderline brilliant. For those who need a reminder and we don't blame you for having tried to forget Luna mixed alcohol and drugs at a Forrester party and wound up sleeping with Zend, who in her incapacitated state she mistook for her boyfriend, RJ. Make no mistake about it, the Luna Zend hookup was wrong on every level, and it ticked off a whole lot of fans. We were happy that the show didn't opt for the Who's the Daddy storyline we pretty much all assumed was coming, and we put the writers on blast when out of nowhere, they began writing Zend as if he'd been in love with Luna all along. That particular rewrite didn't work, because we'd all watched him hatch a plan to seduce Luna in order to hurt his cousin. Love had nothing to do with it. Eventually, that entire storyline just faded away, and we were all the better for it. And then Luna was revealed to be a serial killer with a DIY cage at her disposal, and things got a little bit nuts. But it turned out the real shocker had nothing to do with the murders of Tom and Hollis who, as Luna herself pointed out, weren't really all that important to anyone. Instead, the jaw-dropping bombshell came when Luna admitted that she hadn't actually been drugged the night she slept with Zend. She'd slipped between his sheets intentionally and had, as she told a disgusted Steffi, the best sex of her life. Now looking back this plot twist doesn't entirely hold up. We saw a horrified Luna flashing back to the night in question. We saw her torment herself for weeks, both in private and with others. And why exactly would she have done this in the first place? The impression we were left with by what she said in the episode which aired on September 2nd was that this was all part of her master plan. Presumably, she used the events of that night to expose her mom's addiction to special mints so that later, she could use them to frame Poppy for murder. Except Tom hadn't even come into the picture at that point. In fact, we were still months away from his introduction into the story. Yes, because of his letter-writing campaign, Luna knew about his existence and his claim but she had no reason to think he'd show up, let alone that she'd find herself needing a way to frame her mom for his murder. At the end of the day, Luna's latest confession did what soaps so rarely do today. It provided a shocking twist that we didn't see coming and which had fans talking. That it also helps erase a particularly icky past storyline, although Zen still shouldn't have been sleeping with his cousin's girlfriend doesn't hurt. Best of all, it reminds us that when soaps are at their best, they give us a reason to tune in tomorrow to find out what could possibly happen next. The bold and the beautiful B&B spoilers recap for Monday, September 2nd, reveals that John Finn Finnegan Tanner Novlin grew increasingly suspicious over Bill Spencer's Don Gemont comment about needing to be extra cautious with Luna Nozo Elisa Yamad right now. Bill admitted Luna kissed him and later kissed him again despite him telling her it was inappropriate. However, Bill suggested it was reasonable for Luna to be acting out of character considering everything she'd been through. Finn shifted the conversation back to missing Steffi Forrester Jacqueline McInnes Wood and got a notification that his phone was paired up with hers. It caught Finn off guard before he explained that their phones paired up like walkie-talkies on an app they used for the kids. Finn eventually found Steffi's phone and became alarmed since she wouldn't have left town without it. Once Finn warned Bill to keep an eye on Luna, he took off and opened up to Lee Finnegan Naomi Matsuda at the hospital. On Monday's BNB episode, Finn told Lee that Steffi was missing, and he couldn't shake the feeling that Luna had something to do with it. Since Lee didn't believe Poppy Nozawa Romi Park was capable of murder, Finn pointed the finger at Luna since she was the only other person with motive to wipe out Tom star Clint Howard and Paul Hollis Hollister list W Chamber. Steffi was last seen at Bill's mansion. So Finn said he had a sick feeling that Luna had something to do with her disappearance. Finn added that they'd found their way back to each other before, and refused to give up on finding Steffi this time either. While Rich Forrester Torsten K worried to RJ Forrester Oshawa Hoffma about Steffi going MIA, Steffi awoke in her cage and found a menacing Luna standing over her again. Luna refused to let Steffi or anyone else stand in the way of the life she wanted with Bill. In addition to killing Tom and Hollis, Luna confessed that she had some other secrets, like sleeping with Zen Forrester Dominguez Delon de Metz on purpose. Luna suggested that RJ was just a boy and added that Zend had given her the best passion of her life. Once Luna gave Steffi updates on the bogus drugging story, she said that Zen played his part perfectly. Steffi talked about Luna using those drugs to kill Tom and Hollis, 
but an unapologetic Luna refused to let anybody stand in the way of what she deserved, which was a rich, powerful and hot man like Bill. Steffi called Luna a psycho and argued that she had a chance to turn her life around when she came to LA for her internship at Forrester Creations. Luna insisted she was indeed taking steps to turn her life around including when she faked the paternity test results, got her real father out of the picture and framed Poppy. Now that Poppy was in jail, Luna made a prediction about becoming the new younger woman in Bill's life. Luna declared that she'd be living in the Spencer estate while Steffi rotted away in that cage until the building got demolished with her in it. Despite Steffi's repeated pleas to let her out, Luna left her captive locked up. The bold and the beautiful spoilers say Luna will find herself in some new jams later this week. So don't miss all the stunning news to come. CDLs where you want to be for great bold and the beautiful spoilers, predictions, news and updates, so drop by frequently for more BNB details. For the Tuesday, September 3rd episode of The Bold and the Beautiful Spoilers photos show Steffi's fruitless attempt at begging Luna for grace. Meanwhile, Finn is going around gathering clues. These images preview big moments, and you won't want to miss a bit of the action. It's a busy day for RJ Joshua Hoffma. He goes to Bill's Don Diamant. Bill seems to consider whatever RJ tells him. Will RJ realize that Luna Lisa Yamada is holding Steffi Jacqueline McInnes Wood? Meanwhile, Steffi is in the cage and desperately pleads with Luna. Of course, Luna isn't interested in hearing whatever Steffi's saying. She remains steadfast in keeping Steffi locked up, and nothing Steffi says is changing her mind. Luna is determined to move forward with her plans. Finn Tanner Novlin continues making his case to Lee Naomi Matsuda. He tells his mom what he thinks may be going on with Luna and Steffi. Will it be enough to convince Lee to help him? Finally, Finn goes to question RJ. Will whatever RJ learned at Bill's be enough to give Finn the clue? He needs to figure out where his wife is. It looks like RJ is serious in whatever he tells Finn. Check it all out in the slideshow below. Before the truth comes out about Luna Nozawa Lisa Yamada, tells him all about his girlfriend's killer confessions and being locked in a cage like a dog for a week. It's safe to say the sweet forester in turn pulled the wool over everyone's eyes, but RJ was literally sleeping with a killer. At least he lived to tell about it. The bold and the beautiful spoilers tease the Luna Nozawa bombs won't stop there. Not only has his girlfriend been living a double life, but Steffi Forrester will probably also tell her little brother all about Luna trying to seduce her ex-dad Bill Spencer Don Diamant and kissing him. Steffi could probably leave the cheating aspect out to spare RJ's feelings. But, then no one would understand why Luna kidnapped her and tried to kill her to begin with. RJ Forrester has always been sheltered and protected by his parents and siblings, he's Rich Forrester's Torsten K. youngest and has had an easy breezy life so far. Nothing like this has ever happened to Steffi's little brother, and bold and beautiful spoilers say he won't take the news well. Could Luna's alter ego reveal trigger some sort of breakdown for RJ Forrester? Or will he turn to drugs or booze to numb the pain? The bold and the beautiful fans were in disbelief, as Luna revealed her diabolical lie to cover up willingly cheating on her boyfriend RJ with Zend. Viewers were stunned during the latest episode of BNB, as Luna willingly confessed to Steffi who is currently locked in a cage in her basement that she purposefully cheated on RJ. And while not too long ago many fans remembered Luna breaking down in tears after being drugged after being taken advantage of by Zend, Luna has now revealed that she was in fact the one who made the move on him. Steffi, clearly taken aback, Asked what are you talking about to which Luna elaborated oh that's right you don't know about my accidental night in Zen's bed. Except it wasn't an accident. I planned it perfectly I got away with it too. Just like I'm going to get away with this. Luna then went on to make the shocking confession that she's actually in love with Bill, the man who she previously believed to be her biological father, and that she only has her eyes set on him. This comes as she previously kissed Bill on the mouth twice, but he brushed off the odd encounter chalking the intimate moment to her just going through a difficult time and needing comfort. After the shocking turn of events, bold and beautiful fans took to X, formerly Twitter, sharing their reactions to Luna's unexpected admission. One viewer wrote on the so Luna faked like she was drugged just so she could have sex with Zend and she said it was the best sex of her life. This chick is diabolical.